everyone tells you to install these plugins, WP Rocket and Rank Math SEO, but no one actually shows you how to set them up properly. But today, we're fixing that. If you watched our last video, we broke down exactly what these tools are. Rank Math for SEO and WP Rocket for speed, and even gave you a couple bonus downloads in the process. But for this video, not only am I going to show you what settings to use to harness the full potential of these plugins, I've also got something extra for my Elemental fans, a special Elemental performance hack that will make your site run faster. So make sure to stick around for that. With all that being said, let's dive straight into it. Starting with the optimal Rank Math SEO settings to get your site ranking properly. All right, so let's jump straight into it and get your SEO settings set up for your WordPress website. There are really two main SEO plugins when it comes to WordPress, either Rank Math SEO or Yoast SEO. Yoast SEO is definitely one of the oldest and the one of the longest in the game, but Rank Math SEO is almost like your new and better version of an SEO plugin for your WordPress website. Now, Rank Math does have a pro version if you did want to upgrade, but honestly, I've got the free version and it comes with a ton of features that are very useful, especially when you're just starting out. They do have the pro plan, which is about $7.99 a month. So you're looking at just under $100 a year. So I'm assuming you guys would have watched my previous video where I went through exactly how to install this plugin. So I'm gonna jump straight into it and show you the exact settings that I use to help with my website SEO. So first up, we've got Rank Math's Content AI. So this is basically an advanced writing assistant that's built right within your WordPress website. And it helps with optimizing your content for SEO heaps faster. It analyzes your focus keywords and suggests related terms, ideal word counts, headings, and questions. All of these elements to help with improving your rankings. You can also use it to generate meta descriptions descriptions, outlines, FAQs, even full blog drafts, and all of it's literally powered with AI. Now, just a note, these features do run on a credit-based system available with the paid plan, but it's extremely powerful for anyone who takes on-page SEO and content optimization very seriously. So next, we've got the 404 monitor. We wanna make sure that we have that on. It basically tracks every page that returns a 404 not found error, showing you the exact URLs visitors tried to access and where it came from. So let's just make sure that we have that on here. Next, we got ACF. We don't really wanna to touch this one. AMP, we're gonna leave that off as well. Next, we got analytics. So this is where you can connect your rank math with your Google search console to see some of the most important information from Google directly in your WordPress dashboard. So for this one, we're just gonna leave that one on. We're gonna leave BB Press off, Buddy Press is off. Image SEO, we're gonna turn on. So this one automatically adds any missing alt tags or title attributes to the images within your website. This helps them to rank better in Google image search. We've also got instant indexing. We wanna make sure that we have that on as well. So the cool thing about this one, it'll automatically notify Google or Bing, any of these big search engines, the moment you publish or you update a page. This way your content gets indexed instantly instead of waiting days or even weeks. Then if we scroll down here, we've also got the link counter. So this counts the total number of internal and external links within your website. So let's make sure that we have that one on. LLMS text, we're gonna leave this one off. Local SEO, we can leave that one off. News sitemaps, we can leave that one off at the moment. Podcast is also available in the pro version. Redirections, so we wanna make sure that we've got this one on as well. Now, redirections lets you quickly send visitors from old or broken links to the right page without losing traffic. It's super easy to use and it helps with keeping your site clean and SEO friendly. Next, we've got schema, so structured data. So this helps your site stand out in Google by adding rich data, things like FAQs, reviews, or even products. So this really helps with boosting click-through rates. And it's basically the code that makes your search results look professional. So we'll make sure we have that on. We've also got the role manager. We wanna make sure we've got that on. So the role manager lets you control who on your team can edit or view rank map settings inside WordPress. So this is super handy if you've got multiple users and you wanna keep everything organized. Then we've got the SEO analyzer. So the SEO analyzer scans your entire website 
and gives you easy to follow tips to help with any technical issues and improve your rankings. Then we've got our site map. Now this is a very crucial one. A site map automatically creates a clean map of all of your pages so that Google can crawl your site more efficiently. So this way it keeps your content indexed and it helps search engines understand your site structure even better. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, we've got video site map. So this is a pro feature. So I'm gonna leave that one off. Google web stories will stay off. WooCommerce will stay off for myself. If you guys are running an e-commerce website, then these could potentially be setting that you do want to include. And then last of all, we got the React Settings UI. So this one just powers the newer and the faster interface of Rank Math within your WordPress dashboard. So it really helps with making everything smoother and easier to navigate. So once you've got all that sorted, we'll just scroll back up to the top here and click under Rank Math SEO. Let's go to General Settings. So starting off with links, we wanna make sure we've got redirect attachments on, and then also open external links in new tab or window. So this one is important because if you have any external links within say a blog article, you don't wanna be sending your traffic onto another website within the same tabs. So if they go to click on that external link, you wanna make sure that it's opening up in a new tab so that your website is still technically open on their browser. Now, once you've got that in, make sure to just click on save changes after you complete any of the changes within these settings. Let's go back up, let's go to breadcrumbs. So breadcrumbs help with giving a clear navigation trail on your website. For example, home to blog to post. This basically makes it easier for visitors and Google to understand your site structure and improves how your pages appear in search results. So for breadcrumbs, we've just got enable breadcrumbs function as on, and the rest of these can all just be default. Make sure to click on save changes at the bottom there. With images, so making sure that we add any missing alt attributes. So in terms of images, an alt tag is basically a little tag that's linked to your image to help with ranking on SEO. And it ultimately helps with overall page ranking as well. So look, once we've got that turned on, these ones can stay as default. We'll just just click on save changes we'll go to webmaster tools so with webmaster tools we can just leave it as it is because we've already got google search console linked to there as well edit roblox txt we won't have to do anything with that one others we'll leave as it is blocks we'll leave that one as it is that's default we'll stick to all default there if any of these do look different to your settings then make sure to go and include these but they should all be default these ones and then last of all analytics so you can go and connect or reconnect your google search console as well here and have a good understanding of your analytics but that should all be default through here guys once you're happy with any changes that are made just make sure to always save your changes as well all right seo sorted your site's discoverable and optimized now it's time to tackle what most beginners ignore speed we're just Jumping into WP Rocket, the plugin that does all the heavy lifting behind the scenes to keep your site running smoothly. All right, let's jump straight into it and show you guys the exact WP Rocket settings that I use to make sure that your website is running at optimal speeds. With WP Rocket, compared to literally any other tool to help with speed on your website, it performs almost 80% better. So it's definitely a clear outlier. So let me show you exactly which settings we need to have set up to make sure that we get the most out of this plugin. If you haven't installed this plugin, then make sure to go check out one of my more recent videos where I broke down exactly how to go and download and install this plugin within WordPress. But to start off, we're just gonna go up to the top here where it says WP Rocket and click on our settings tab there. So let's jump straight into it with file optimization. I'm not gonna go through and break down all of these and exactly what they mean. So just make sure that you follow along and include these settings in your WP Rocket settings. Starting off with minify CSS files. Let's make sure we've got that on. Minify JavaScript files, make sure we've got that on. Once you've made those changes, just click on save changes there. Next, we'll go to media. So with media, just make sure you've got all of these ones on as well. Add missing image dimensions self-host Google fonts. We've got these four up here as well. Click on save changes with preload. Make sure we've got activate preloading, enable link preloading, save those changes. So with advanced rules, we're gonna go with specified time after which the global cache is cleared. We're gonna go with six days. Usually this is about 10 hours, but if you guys are creating content very regularly, then you can shorten this. But for me, where I create maybe two or three blog posts a week, I'm happy to keep it to every six days. So with database, we wanna make sure we've got these three on, all transients is on. And then just down here with your automatic cleanup, if you wanna schedule that automatic cleanup, let's go with weekly and just click on save changes and optimize. Then we 
CDN. Now, if you guys are using something like Hostinger, this will already have a CDN built into this, so I'm not actually gonna break this one down. So let's just move on to Heartbeat. So we're gonna have Control Heartbeat on, and with all these ones, we're gonna go with Reduce Activity, and then just click on Save Changes, and that is basically all for the WP Rocket settings. All right, WP Rocket setup, your site's running smooth. I've got one final bonus for you. So if you're using Elementor to build your pages, this hack is gonna give your site an instant performance boost. It basically helps your site skip loading any unnecessary elements within your Elementor page. This way, your pages open faster and your visitors will stay longer. All right guys, so this performance hack is gonna help with making your website run 50% faster than it did before. Now, as we have come to know, website speed is so crucial for maintaining traffic and keeping your website feeling and looking professional at the same time. So if you guys are users of Elementor, then make sure to stick around for this bit. Let's jump straight into it. So what we'll do is just head over to the left-hand side here under Elementor and click on our Element Manager. So basically what this tool does, it eliminates anything that we aren't using within our WordPress website to help with not having to load any unnecessary elements within our website. So basically if we scroll down and just have a look, these are all different elements within our website that you guys are able to use. But let's be real, most websites don't use all of these elements. So essentially what you guys are most likely looking at all of these would currently be turned on. So what you're gonna have to do is go and click on scan element usage, and it's gonna go through, scan all the elements, and turn off all the elements that aren't used within your website. And then you're gonna go and click on deactivate unused elements and then click on save changes. So this is gonna help with removing any unnecessary loading of elements that aren't used within your website. All right, that's everything for today's tutorial. Your rank maths optimized, your site's running fast with WP Rocket and that Elemental Hacks now boosting performance too. If you wanna keep up with the tools and updates that we use each week, then make sure to check out our weekly newsletter for creators. The link Links down in the description. We've also dropped all the resources mentioned in this video down there, so make sure to go check them out. I appreciate you watching. Hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.